Hello and welcome to the Electrical Engineering Bootcamp Knowledge in Minutes. In this video, I am going to talk about how to reduce inrush current. We all know inrush current happens during startup of certain equipment, such as transformers or induction motors with a large magnitude and short duration. This large magnitude can either damage equipment or nuisance tripping in the protection system. There are essentially three ways to reduce inrush current, which is in the use of voltage regulators, integrated load switches, and discrete components. Regardless of which technology you use, essentially the goal of implementation of these methods is to increase a voltage rise time, which in turn would reduce inrush current. Each one of these solutions have its advantages and disadvantages, and the reasons to use which one depends on your design and situation. If you want to learn um, more about electrical transformers, particularly in uh, testing and doing diagnostics, I recommend you to check out my Udemy course, Electrical Transformers Testing and Diagnostics course. Now, this is an intermediate video course where you will learn all about electrical transformer troubleshooting that are essential in working within this industry, from general failure investigation methods to specific transformer tests, such as the dissolved gas analysis. So if you're interested in um, uh, electronic uh, electrical transformer testing, troubleshooting, etc., please check out my course uh, by clicking on the link in the video description.